Addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction. Fact families. Fact families. Okay, everyone, I need you to put your pencils on top of your math journal. And I need your hands to be unlocked and all eyes up on me. So I can solve addition and subtraction fact families. So we're going to look at this. So do you guys see up here how there's a domino? Look all up here. Do you guys see the domino up here? No. How many of you have seen a domino before? Raise your hand. How many of you have played with dominoes before? I have. Okay, let's look at this. If I covered this side of the domino, how many dots do I have on this side? Raise your hand. Say it out loud. Five. Five. I have five dots on this side. If I cover this side of the domino up, how many dots do I have on that side? Four. So I have five dots on one side and four dots on the other. But if I have the whole domino, how many dots do I have on the whole domino? Raise your hand. Sophie, how many dots are on the whole domino? Nine. So we can okay, let's see. So we have five, four, and nine. So those are my three numbers that we came up with. How did you guys come up with those three numbers? Do we just pull them out of our head, or do we look at the domino? Look at the domino. We looked at the domino. So we looked at one side, how it has five. The other side of the domino has four. And the domino together has nine. What we are going to do from here is create two addition and two subtraction problems. I'm going to explain the first one first, but I can't explain it until I see everyone sitting up straight and eyes on the smart board. Everyone sit up straight, eyes on the smart board. So to figure out our two addash, addition, addition problems using the numbers five, four, and nine. Let's say I add five plus nine. Does that equal four? Does five plus nine equal four? No. Let's think. What does five plus nine equal? Hmm. It doesn't equal four. What about this? What about four plus nine? Does that equal five? No, but what about five plus four? Does that equal nine? Yes. Okay, so there's our first one. Five plus four equals nine. Okay, now we have to think of one more. What do you think we could do? Jessica, what is it? Five plus. Using these three numbers. So we have five plus four equals nine. What's another one we can have? Four. Okay. Four plus what? Four plus what? Do you, you want to take it from? Okay. So let's look. So look up here. So we have five plus four equals nine. Look at this. This is really easy. All you're going to do is flip flop the numbers. So we have our four first, four. then our five equals nine. Do you guys see that? So the first equation is five plus four. Adam, you see it? You see how I have five plus four equals nine? So if I take this side of the domino, and I add this side's domino, I have the total dots on the domino. Then I just flip the numbers. Okay, this is where it gets tricky. This is where it gets tricky. For subtraction. How do you think I'm going to find my subtraction problem using those three numbers? What do you think? What number do you think I have to start with? I'm using a bit. All right, what number should I start with? Um. So if I have, let's look at this. If I have five and I take away four, so if I have five and I take away four, does that leave me with nine? If I have five and I take away four, what does that leave me with? One. One. What about this though? What about if I have nine as my starting number and I take away five, how many am I left with? How many am I left with if I have nine and I take away five? Four. Four, so that's my first one. Nine minus five equals four. Okay, let's look at our next problem. We need one more subtraction problem. Remember how I said flip the two numbers. What two numbers do you think we're gonna have to flip in this sentence? For subtraction thing. Aaliyah? Four. So let's see. So what would it be? What would my sentence be? Oh, no, what would my sentence be? Five. Five. Nine. Okay. Nine. So 
But if I take 5 and I minus 9, does that give me 4? No. So what we're going to do here, for our subtraction problems, it's always going to start with 9. We're always going to start with the biggest number. For our subtraction problems, you're always going to start with the biggest number. So we're just going to flip-flop these two numbers again. So I'd have 9 minus 4 equals 5. Okay, what I need you to do is I need everyone to stand up. Everyone stand up. We're going to go up front. I'm going to move this table back a little bit. So back up, boys. Back up, back up. Okay. Do you see how this domino has six dots and five dots? We're going to be human dominoes with our dots. So, Alan, I need you to come stand right here. Adam, I need you to come stand right here. Jaciana, come stand over here. Manalia, come stand over on this side. And Aria, come join me on this side. Come join me on this side. Come over here, girls. So do you guys see how I have six people over on this side? Excuse me, excuse me. These six people are representing these six dots. Now I need the rest of you to come over with me. Arturo, come over with me. Arturo, come on. Come over here, Diana, Jessica. So do you guys see how us five over here are these five dots? So each side of the domino has a certain amount of dots. You guys have six and we have five. But if we combine, combined, how many do we make total? We make 11. We make 11 total when we combine. Six plus five equals 11. So to figure out how many dots are on the domino, that's what you have to look at. You have to look at each side of the domino first and then combine them together to figure out the three numbers. Okay, so head back to your desk. We're gonna look at this one together. Head back to your desk. I'm gonna close this table. Yep. Please do. So what was my first number we came up with for this domino? Raise your hand. Who remembers how many people are on this side? Six. Six, okay, six. What was the other number? Five, five, because we have six right here, five right here. And how many dots do I have total? When we combined, how many do we have total? Eleven. Eleven. Yes. We have eleven. There you go. Now we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. So now we're going to create our subtraction and addition problems. Using those three numbers. Using these three numbers, we're going to create our addition and subtraction problems. So let's start here. For my addition problem, remember how I had six on this side and five on that side? And when we combined, we made 11? Does that use all three numbers? Yes. Yeah, so there's my first one. Six plus five equals 11. So now what do we have to do? What do we have to do? Five plus six. There we go. There we go. You just flip the front numbers around. Oh, now we got the flip. tough one. Subtraction, that's where it gets tough. Using those three numbers. Using these three numbers, come up with two subtraction problems. Leah, what was my first one? Eleven. Eleven. We always start with eleven. eleven. We always start with the total amount of dots on the domino. So if I have eleven dots right here, and I take away these six, how many am I left with? Five. Five. So if I take away six dots, I'm left with five. But if I take away these five dots, how many am I left with? Six. Six. Oh my God. You guys are getting it. We're getting it. Yes. Let's go back and do a few more. Let's look at this one. We just did it. Okay, let's look at human dominoes. We don't have to do that one. Let's look at this one. Let's think. How many dots do I have on this side? Five. How many dots are on the other side? Two. Two. How many dots total? How many Seven. dots total? Seven. 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 Now let's think of our two addition and our two subtraction problems. What am I going to do with my addition? What's my first equation? Five. Five plus what? Two. Seven. Five plus two, two is equal to what, Jaciana? Seven. Seven. Five. Five plus two seven. equals seven. Now we have to flip it. What would my other one be if I flip it? Jessica, what would it be? Um, two. Five. 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 So two oh, plus five nice. equals seven. Good job. Now let's do our subtraction ones. Oh, I'm going to see if I can trick you. I'm going to trick you. What number should my subtraction problem start with? Diavion, what number should my subtraction problem start with? Always. Remember? So 
So it's the biggest number. What's the biggest number out of these three? Oh, out of these three right here. Five, seven, and two. What's the biggest number? Seven. Yeah. So remember, both subtraction problems have to start with seven. Seven minus what? Adam, what should my first one be? Seven minus what? Five. Seven minus five. What does that equal? Two. Divide so seven and take away five. Plus two. Now, what should my last one be? Let's say it out loud. Ready? One, two, three. Of seven two. minus two, two. equals five. You guys got it. Good job. Okay. We have the human dominoes. What we are going to do now is I need you to open to your math journal page 47. Math journal page 47. Now we can work on that. Math journal page 47. When you are ready, and I know we can move on, I'll have, have all eyes up on me. We'll go through it together first time.
Okay, 10 minus what? So if I have 10, Aria, what was one of them? 10 minus 6, what does it equal? If I have 10 and I take away these six dots, how many dots am I left with? Four. four. So 10 minus 6 equals 4. Then I have to flip flop the numbers. What would it be? What would my next equation be? 4. 4 minus what? Or 10 minus 4 equals what? 6. 6. So you should have that written down. I want you to do the next five 